privacy. By definition, privacy represents a person's or a group's ability to control self-related information and to distribute it selectively. Privacy can have several meanings, physical integrity or the virtual integrity. As you well know, issues related to data security, GDPR, the human rights, is common known to be debated worldwide. But is this really respected? Is this right protected by anyone? Are we really aware of the reality? What do you think about it? Is it good to protect our identity? To learn what it really means to protect ourselves? Or is it better to let our personal data to be controlled by others without caring of what's really happening? We, the crypto data team, decided to protect ourselves, to perfect ourselves, and to teach others how to keep themselves safe. Yes, you've heard of it. You know it's something important, yes. Cybersecurity is a very complex aspect, which should concern us because we're living in the era of technology when everybody's addicted to smartphones, computers, and electronics in general. We consider cybersecurity to be a practice of protecting computers, servers, smartphones, and networks against the malicious attacks against the bad guys. This term is applicable within a variety of contexts from business to personal usage, from complex systems to the garage remote control. Nowadays, all these categories can be included within a smartphone's usage. The smartphone is an indispensable device to be used for almost anything. It serves as our computer, the network node, the wallet, our bank, and the last but not the least, the device through which we communicate day by day. However, the fact that it has so many functions means it also has as many vulnerabilities. Here we're referring to network security, software security, operational security, hardware security, and data security. And there are many other domains and subdomains related to it. As a brief description, we can sort them into cybercrime. So it's groups targeting financial systems which could bring them profit and cause damage. Cyber attacks, so it's gathering information for making profits. Or the cyber terrorism is used for taking over the control of electronic devices to cause fear, panic, and achieve some malicious objectives. It's the most spread communication and data storage device on Earth. Being a complex device, there are many ways to attack it. All the information is stored in this portable device, but most importantly, mobile phone users are not usually tech guys or hackers or IT guys. If you'd want to attack somebody, would you attack the one who's already prepared? Of course not. Nobody spends time studying programming or cybersecurity in order to use a phone. People have different jobs. People simply use it because it's helpful and makes their life easier. Nowadays, it's very difficult to protect yourself because you can't have it both ways. To install anything at any time, to navigate wherever you want, to insert your data everywhere, and to remain safe at the same time. This happens because you don't know the intention and the purpose of those who receive your data. You simply don't know what you're installing because you can't verify the source code and nobody really knows what's behind it and what the application in question does. You don't know what happens with your data, either in whose hands it will get and for what purpose it will be used or what files from your phone are accessed as well. We assume that all of us have received so far a phone call, a text, a message or an email from a company that we've never heard of, that we are not related to. This raises some questions like, where do they have the, my data from? Why me? Our advice, do not connect anything, but secure networks. Download only the necessary apps and use your phone only for what it was created to communicate. 